Hi, Deepak. I have a query on this uh, costing, which I learned from you. So I just uh, go there and then share my screen and then uh, please clarify uh, my understanding actually. Go there. <coughs> and then here, uh, what I have depicted is, uh, I have a BU. I have ALE below which what I have a BU. BU1 and BU2. And then uh, both of them are enabled for uh, what happens, uh, costing. The below legality is enabled in both of these. And then I have three inventory orgs below BU1. And then uh, 456 are below BU2. So when I made a BU, what happens? I made the profit center business as BU1 and then BU1. And then for the inventory three, I'm making it as a BU2. And then similarly, four and five belongs to BU2 as a profit center business unit, whereas six belongs to BU1 as a profit center business unit. And then these three things, can I first, my first question is what, if an inventory or belongs to different BUs as far as PSBU is concerned, can I couple them or can I put together in one cost or not? That is my first question. Right? Similarly, here also one, BU2, BU2, one. So can I couple, can I mix all these things under one cost or not? That is my first question. Otherwise, what happens, uh, only the same BU, PSBUs can only be coupled or we can even couple multiple inventory orgs of uh, multiple uh, profits and abuse also. Fine, that is my first question. Next is what? When I perform a material transfers, <coughs> fine. Uh, SFO need not be set at all. Fine, that is what? Need not be set because one to two, it belongs to same PSBU and so what happens? It need not be set. And then the second is what? When I perform a transaction between inventory one to inventory six, fine, they belong to the same profits and abuse. And so again, what happens? SFO need not be set. And then if I perform a transaction between INV1 to INV3, even though they belong to the same BU, but the PSBUs are different, in which case what happens every year is SFO. So whether this understanding is correct or not, and please correct it. And then I'm sending this document as well as the video. Fine. And then if there is any change, please tell me. It's fine. Thanks for your assistance. Fine. Bye. <clears throat> Hi, all of you. Um, dear uh, Fusion uh, training uh, participants, uh, Deepak has given a clarification on this uh, profit center view actually. I will now explain it to you. Fine. And then the training is going on on order management. And then if you have any doubts, and then if I make any mistake, you please correct me. If you are making a mistake, I will not correct you. So it is a mutual help between both of us basically. And then uh, you can even write to me for any clarifications at nana.app60 at gmail.com for all your doubts. Fine. Well, now we will now see the Deepak's uh, correction which he has given. So let me go and share the screen now. So in this place, I shoot at two questions now basically the first one is what if you have the profit center bu as multiple views can i associate to one cost org or not that was my first question now he tells them no it's not possible so for a cost org what happens the inventory org must belong to the same psbu then only what happens we can associate to one cost org. anyway we are going to see the costing on monday actually uh, at the time, what happens, i'll be explaining it again on this now so if they belong to multiple BU or profit center business units we cannot put them under the same cost org that is his first clarification. And then the second clarification is what I asked him is what, uh, whether we have to perform this, uh, what's called the SFO transactions or not. SFO setups is required or not. So let's say one to two, fine, one to two. They belong to the same uh, basic fine. So here, what he says is that SFO itself is required only when you wanted to do the intercompany payables and receivables accounting. If you don't want to do it, don't set up the SFO at all. And then one more thing is what he's saying is that if you wanted to uh, calculate the profit in inventory also. So the intercompany payables and receivables as well as the profit in inventory, if you're interested in calculating it, then you do the setup of the SFO. SFO. Otherwise, what happens is don't do it at all. So that is what it is. So it's a need-based setups. And then what happens if required, we'll be doing it. Otherwise, we will bypass it. So this is not a mandatory setup for performing and any uh, transfers between two orgs which belongs to different business units. Right? As far as the profit center business unit is concerned, if two orgs belong to two different business units, and then what happens? Uh, naturally, what happens? For the same one, you won't do it. And then if it belongs to two different PSBOs, what happens? The need will be based upon, on a need basis, you will not set it up. So, uh, attend to my training, and then I hope that you are enjoying my training. Fine, go there. Fine. Uh, give your feedbacks. And then let us know, make it, what happens? More knowledgeable on this thread. Fine. So, bye for now. <coughs> and then, We'll see you on the next video. I know. Thank you.